Let's now look at question number 14. We'll solve this using the variable approach method. Here, what we're told is the ratio 2 to 3 to 5, and this is the original condition here. And first, in a variable approach method, we have to modify the original condition. So what we have is m equal to 2k, f equal to 3k, and c equal to 5k to represent the ratios. Right now we have four variables, m, f, and c, and k. We already have three equations, 1, 2, and 3. So we only need one more equation to solve for the four variables. And since conditions 1 and 2 each give an equation, this means that D is likely our answer. And actually D is going to be the answer, so we'll see why that's the case. Usually, 60% of the time D is going to be the answer in these cases, and 20% of the time each for A and B. Alright, so in condition 1 it says 3K is equal to 2K plus 5, meaning K is 5. So, since C is 5K, C is going to be 25. Condition 1 is sufficient. What about condition 2? 2K plus 3K plus 5k is equal to 10k, which is 50. Again, k is 5, c is 5k, and this means that c, again, is 25. Condition 2 is also sufficient by itself, and that's why d is the answer. Remember the variable approach method, because it's currently the most recognized and efficient way of solving GMAT math problems.